Final Four is set in 2012. World Series of Poker $10,000 No Limit Hold'em Heads Up event. Let's take a look at the semifinal matchups, which will resume on Thursday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. First up is Jason Moe versus Brock Parker. The second match features Tommy Chen versus Brian Hastings. We had a chance to catch up with Hastings just after he made the Final Four to get his thoughts on this tournament. I think this is one of the, the, the most prestigious bracelets in the entire series, personally. I mean, heads up poker, in my opinion, is the most skilled, skilled form of poker. And, I mean, you're, you're playing in a field that's stacked with a lot of the top players in the world. Now, granted, I mean, this, the structure is somewhat high variance, and, I mean, the best player is not always going to win, of course, but still, I mean, to, to, to be the one who wins the most matches and outlast that field and wins a bracelet, I think, would be huge in this event. Car Player TV also asked Hastings to give us a walkthrough of his matches leading into the semifinals. I'd say it's been a pretty up and down. Um, I had a first round bye, like most, much of the field, which was nice. Um, my next match after that wasn't too difficult. It was against a recreational player. Then I played against uh, Emil Patel, who I'm friendly with, um, good friends. And that was a tough match, but, uh, well, I mean, he's a tough player. I, I kind of ran well and made a few good calls, and I, I, I was never really in jeopardy in that one. But still, tough thinking match. I was certainly burned out afterwards. And then today I played Tommy Vides, um, it was a pretty tough match, back and forth. Uh, and, uh, but, well, I, actually I didn't use any of my rebound chips, so. <laughs> um, but, I mean, he's a tough opponent though. Then I played against um, Raj, I don't know his full name, but he played really tough. He's like an online heads up sit and go pro. And I thought he played me possibly the toughest of anybody. Uh, I was actually down 7-1 to at one point in that match and then came back and won. And then this last match here, I was down 2-1, to one, and um, after that, just cut some breaks and did the things you need to do. This is Hastings' first WSOP cash, and although he's primarily focused on playing cash games, he definitely has a sight set on taking down a WSOP event. Chris, it would mean a lot to me, especially in an event like this. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely not one of the poker players who's like completely like bracelet-oriented, like just playing every World Series event trying to win a bracelet, but I mean, in the events I do play, like, I mean, I do think it'd be really cool. I mean, I grew up and watching the World Series on TV and thinking it was the coolest thing ever and always wanting to win a bracelet. Now I think my goals are a little bit different, but I mean, still, a bracelet would be pretty damn cool. Make sure to follow along with CardPlayer.com's live updates as they play down to a champion in the 2012 WSOP $10,000 Heads Up Championship.